We've uh, moved all of the displays out of the out of the new wine room. I vacuumed the floor yet again. Oh, there's my shoes because I don't want to walk in here. And uh, I'll walk out in my socks, turn around. We'll look at the wine rack there. The new hooks I put up the other day. And here we come into the new wine room. And the window for the back room so I can watch while I'm working out back. Alright, I left the wine racks that are up on the wall and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's the floor as we walk in. Just a regular threshold with some white pine. And then we start the first squarish figure. And you'll see that there is a lot of detail work. I'll get down there so you can see some of it. It will certainly show up more once we have to oil it today. A lot of little pieces that you'll see. Geometrics is always a fun game of mine. See some faces, a couple of buck teeth, funny looking nose, some war paint, arrow sticking out the ear. Oh yeah, well I did leave the Bordeaux storage wines here. And then the, the ports. From Australians, and then a raft of sticky wines, both from France, Australia, Italy, Germany, California, and such. Then I didn't bother taking out the racks on this side because they pretty much are always going to be there. And if it changes, we can always oil that part of the floor. These are the burgundies, starting with the whites, going to the reds. There is a Loire stuck in there also, the Baron Del. But there are some phenomenal wines here. From Chateau Pouligny Marche, a Chasson Marche, the same winery as Saint Alban, and also Merceau, Premier Cru, like Porzo, and some other Merceaux. That one's our best selling one because of the age, it's a 205, and it's priced right. We're down to the last few cases. We also have some great red burgundies. Premier Cru, Le Pezzerol, from the same Chateau de Pouligny Morichet. And I have some Vom de Romanet, some Louis Saint Georges, Gervais Chambertin, and then the Lesser Burgundy. But still quite good. Uh, Savigny Le Bon. And here is a standout. It's a Salvelai Amarone 1995 vintage. And that, my friend, is a 3 liter. We also have a 6 liter from a 97. It's Sensi Testarossa, which is a San Sangiovese grape. And then these up here received uh, 90 points from Parker. It's one of his favorite Bordeaux. Uh, it's a Santa Million Grand Cru Chateau Pipo. And we have some a number of 750s as well as these two Magnums left out of, out of 12. 
So, and you know, we've got some accoutrements. Oh, there's a nine liter Cabernet Sauvignon from Concia del Toro, 2002. We've got two of those left. Then we have some maps. And out the back window, which is kind of hidden at the moment, I don't know if the reflection will be bad, but it's a look at the uh, Mount Gisborne and the Gisborne Vineyards. What I don't know if I showed you before was around the ceiling. We have these tops. Nice job in the corner by Chris Barnes. Some rare and older box tops. I have to get close because of the lamp is uh, interesting. I didn't show you my Red Rider, and no, I did not shoot my eye out. Speaking of those nine liters, there's the corkscrew we use. Here's a nice old wine map of California. If you can, well, you'll have to come by the store, check it out. There are some wine regions which are now in effect that don't really show up here. I'll try and get close and be steady. It's interesting, they don't give a whole bunch of attention to Napa and Sonoma, but it's there. Anyway, that's it. All right, well, I guess that's enough for this vid video. We are going to oil the oil the floor today, so everything is kind of uh, mishmash off the uh, floor and placed at different spots. Still making measurements and cutting. That hides the ductwork for the air conditioner and the heater. The return you can see that by the grill, which keeps the air flowing properly. And then we have a secret little window that goes into the uh, liquor and beer aisle. You can't see a whole bunch probably, but whilst in this room here, I can see what's going on with the beer and, and liquor. All right. All right. I'll say goodbye for now. You'll see some nice 67s we have. Ports. Some Italians are just set up there to... Uh, Get by the get by the uh, oiling. Okay, au revoir.